It's time for Kip K's World live stream unboxing and a classic video clip, super chat, and more on today's show. And now your host, Kip K. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Look who I have. Look who I got with me tonight. It's Domino. Domino decided to join me. I don't know how long he's going to stick around. He's not liking sitting here. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, Domino. Hey, guys, welcome to the show. Good to see you. All right. It's Kip K's World, episode two, number two, number two. Everybody's joining in on the chat, which is always fun, makes the show better. Look at Domino. Isn't he the cutest little little kitty cat you've ever seen? Look at him. All right, Dommy, what are you going to do? You want to stick around or you want to you want to leave? You want to stick around? Oh, there he goes. He's out of here. So welcome to Kip K's World. It's episode two. We've got a lot of fun stuff in store for you tonight, including an unboxing. And also, I'm going to dig back into the archives for a classic Kip K clip never before seen on YouTube. Look at everybody. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Domino, yes, yes. Good to see everybody tonight. And uh, we actually did fine with Dorian, the hurricane, which I'm sure you've heard about, is the most lingering pain in the butt. Been around forever, and it's still cruising up the east coast of the United States, and uh, it's pounding a few states up north. So let's uh, hope everybody does well but we were fine i don't even think it rained you know, everybody's running to the store buying 500 bottles plastic bottles of water meanwhile we've banned plastic straws so uh go figure that out so on today's show again an unboxing last week everybody was saying hey kip k cool chair what do you think so that's what we're going to do tonight wait how can i unbox it i'm sitting on it how is this possible Good to see everybody tonight. So let's get right into the unboxing. This one is pre-recorded unboxing. We'll get back to some live unboxings next week. So let's do it. So the fine folks over at eWin Racing reached out to me and sent me their champion gaming chair to unbox, put together, and test out. So let's get to it. Let's cut into the packaging and see what we discover. And the first thing is the base. This is a five-star base, and it's pretty heavy duty. And then wrapped in plastic is the backrest. This is clearly a solid backrest, and the colors are cool, black and red. They come in different colors, and it's got stain-resistant 2.0 PU leather, which can be cleaned repeatedly without surface damage. If there's a backrest, there's got to be a seat, which is the next thing we pull out of the box. Again, wrapped in protective plastic. This is a nice, heavy seat with the arms already attached, ready to go. Also in the box is a box, which contains everything we need to put the chair together. Oh, and I also found a few large size silica gel packs, which are awesome for putting in your toolbox or anywhere you want to suck up moisture. Also inside is some more hardware along with a set of white gloves to keep everything clean while you're building it if you have dirty hands and a set of casters. There's also a seat tray platform which attaches the seat to the base and the pieces for the hydraulic system. All right, so let's build this thing. We'll start off by setting the backrest down and then there are pre-mounted hex pins with washers. Now they're only finger tight, so we'll remove the two on one side and then there's also two on the other side, leaving you with four hex pins and washers. Once those hex pins are out, it's time to set the backrest down over the base and you're gonna need to align those holes and then reinsert those hex pins and washers. The two on one side, tighten them down with the included hex key and then flip it around and repeat the process on the other side. Now there's nice plastic side covers that cover those hex pins. They take one bolt and that goes right through and mounts to that bracket. 
When you're done, take the little plastic cover, snap that in place for a nice clean finish, and repeat the process on the other side. Now it's time to flip the chair over and reveal the bottom of the seat. You're gonna see four more hex pins that can come out by hand. If you need to use the hex key, you can do that. And then it's time to attach the seat tray platform and you'll see it's marked front. So make sure that faces the front of the chair and go ahead and attach that seat tray platform using the four hex pins into the bottom of the seat. All right, let's get to this five star base. So we'll set that down. Then we'll insert the hydraulics. And over that is the telescoping hydraulic system cover. And that just drops down in place. After snapping in the five casters, it's time to give the base a spin. But we're not quite done. Now it's as simple as taking the base and backrest assembly and lowering it down over the hydraulics. The base swivels with ease. There's fully adjustable tilt with a locking system, adjustable seat height. The armrests also have a height adjustment. They rotate in and out. There's a sideways adjustment and a front back and angle adjustment. The E-Win Racing Champion Chair in red and black. I love it. It's super comfortable and they're actually offering my fans 30% off with this code bit.ly slash kipk gaming chair so head on over to ewin racing and pick out a chair for your very own all right so there we go that's the chair and uh i like it it's comfy i took the i took the headrest pillow off it's kind of cozy just as it is I, I didn't need it back there like that. But it's easy because it's it unbuckles and uh, straps straps right on. So anyway, yeah, check the link in the description on the chair. It's pretty awesome. It definitely adds to my set rather than the uh, I had a cloth, ugly cloth office chair <laughs> before I got this. I was like, I gotta upgrade a little bit. Good to see everybody tonight. Appreciate you chatting and joining in on the fun. Okay, so the other thing we do on this show is I dig out of the archives a classic Kip K clip. And that's not easy to say more than once. And these are videos that I put on a website prior to YouTube. And a lot of these have never seen the light of day. There might be a good reason why they've never seen the light of day. So let's roll right into a classic Kip K clip never before seen on YouTube. Chances are you've got a couple of floppy disks hanging around the house that don't even fit in your computer anymore. There's no way to throw them out when you can make a spaceship out of one. First, snap apart the floppy disk. It should come apart pretty easily. You want to save the metal door and the inside hub on the actual disk itself. Then make two snips closest to the large portion of the door. I used a metal ruler and bent back the larger portions 90 degrees. Then using a pencil, bend back the round area at the end of each wing. Now snip an area away at the very back of the ship to allow for the placement of the hub. Clip off the two remaining tabs. Then take the hub and place it over the end of the door and fit it into the slot you just cut. Then bend over the top portions of the door to keep the hub secure. And there you have it, the Starship Enterprise. All right. <laughs> wow. That brings back memories. <laughs> the Star Trek Enterprise uh, floppy disk. And I decided, you know, f these floppy disks, how many of you remember these five and a, what was it, five and a quarter, five and a quarter and three and a half inch floppy disks? I tried to look for a three and a half. I couldn't find a three and a half. Uh, but these five and a quarter disks, I mean, they held a massive amount of data. Let's see, they held a 360 kilobytes or 720 kilobytes. And then the three and a half inch, oh, the, the double-sided were 1.5. 44 megabytes 
And uh, it's so weird because I remember my very first computer, it had, um, it had this massive 20, uh, 20, was it 20 megabyte hard drive? And at the time, that was enormous, enormous hard drive. So there's a classic Kip K clip. Get rid of that floppy disk. I don't I have no idea what I would ever do with those. I have a whole box of those, by the way. So I don't know. I could probably uh, squeeze one MP3 on the entire box of floppy disks. So good to see everybody. I wish I could chat more with you. Yeah, uh, 1980s junior high Apple basic class, right? Social man, you got it. Yeah, you're going back. That's it. Uh, it's still, it, 20 megabyte hard drive. The thing was huge. Now you could hold, what, w you know, one or two MP3s on that whole drive. But back then, all the programs were uh, Windows 3.2 um, and uh, DOS, if you know how to spell that. That's a, that's a special uh, special reference to somebody that I'm sure is watching, if you could spell DOS. Um, so there's the unboxing. Oh, and next week, next week, I'm going to do a live unboxing of this. Should I unzip it? <sighs> I can't show you what it is. Next week, same time, next week, next Thursday night. And uh, if you guys want to uh, suggest some stuff, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Some stuff that you want me to unbox or different stuff to do. By the way, I have a new video coming out next Friday. A regular old video. And uh, we'll still be doing this. Kip K's World Episode 3 is coming next week. So good to see everybody tonight. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Um, let's see. I guess that's it. See you next time.